But we all acknowledge that there's very much about God that we do not understand. He is much higher than us in his thinking. That's common ground throughout the scriptures. But one thing is very certain. He is a single divine self, a single divine being, person with a capital B. How do I know that? I'm assuming nothing. I'm assuming only that a singular personal pronoun describes a single person. I know that to be true. I know that my wife is a single person. I know that the word I means a single person. And God in the Bible describes himself as a single I, a single me, and is referred to as a single he, him, himself, and so on. Thousands upon thousands of times. And so when I came to the very interesting Moody Bible Institute doctrinal statement, I was surprised and somewhat shocked to find them saying, God is a person who has revealed himself as a trinity in unity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three persons, and yet one God. I'll read that again. God is a person, three persons, and yet one God. This does not propose anything to our minds that makes any sense at all. It's entirely incoherent. One person cannot be three persons. But you know, the Athanasian Creed that was recited week by week in church for centuries simply says that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, the Holy Spirit is Almighty, but this is not three Almighties, which leaves the human brain in a fog. It's no better than saying this is a chair, that's also a chair, and that's another chair, but it's really one chair. We are not talking coherent language. And I'm reminded of the famous statement of a Dr. Hay, who lectured at Cambridge on the Trinity, and he said, we must be always industrious to say that our trinity is completely incoherent and completely unintelligible. It makes no sense at a basic language level. And therefore it leaves the brain in a fog and communicates nothing. Much more simple, much clearer, and much more unifying is the creed of Jesus, where he said, in discussion with a Jew who shared the same creed, that the Lord our God is one single Lord, Kyrios Isestin in the modern Greek pronunciation, one Lord. Well, Abraham was one person. God is said to be one person in Galatians 3.20. He's one God and Father. 11,000 samples, not one of them can be shown to designate a triune God. Let the Trinitarian show us which one of these verses means a triune God. It's not possible to show it. This might suggest then to the open-minded that the Trinity is a post-biblical doctrine, nothing at all to do with scripture as originally inspired. <laughs>